Hey guys, I want to make a video uh, five star gameplay for Rocky the Legend Striker. He's a really solid card. We just had a showdown midweek for him. It was like five, six hundred matches to complete. Probably not a ton of people finished it, but if you got him in the bags or loot or whatever, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what he looks like. As far as um, era goes, he's really a pretty good uh, legend. There's, you know, Hogan, Mr. T, if you have Hogan, Afa is a striker that just came out, Junkyard Dog with gear, but there, it's not like a, a very, very deep class. But, or era, excuse me. So he's pretty good for that. As far as uh, class goes, he's a striker and there's a ton of good ones. So, most of these other guys that you see here, Zombie Triple H, Orton, uh, HBK, they can be turn one in a feud, even sometimes in a showdown. Most of the time using Rocky, you're, you're going to win on turn two because he's a power gem guy. He has that move at five star and he gets stronger as he goes. So the way we're going to run him today, he has a one charge yellow move that does 2k damage, destroys three random gems. And a two charge green does 4k damage, destroy two black gems. That fills his big move, which is three charge black, does 9k damage. But you only get one power gem of 12k strength. So... The trainers and coaches are really important for him. At 9k, Taker gives you an extra power gem and adds 53%. That's huge for him. Triple H gives you four more. And Bell at 9k gives you another power gem and 10% damage to it. So you're going to make seven now instead of one. And I'm leaving Ivar on. You can go a lot of different directions, uh, offense, defense for him. Ivar is, I thought originally was going to be super important because the green move breaks two, but the black move is three charge. But it, he's only necessary the second time you're putting power gems out in the same turn, which I would say about 30, 40% of the time you need them, but you, it's, it's not necessary. And a lot of the times when you're using the yellow move, it'll break a black for you. So Ivar not super important if you don't have them don't let that discourage you so for his his uh strap i just started working on it i got the power uh sid's power bomb plate it adds two more power gems whenever you create two and the strength is 6250 so that's pretty helpful but it's random and it covers some of the gems you don't want covered but it, it is helpful and then I'm going to run double armor when I get the last slot unlocked because in the beginning his pins are pretty small. You don't have enough power gems out yet. So a two 300k pin can get the job done at times if you're going to stack up the uh, gem defense. And the armor, I have the flat move, uh, yellow move damage, that's 30k. So let's get out there and show you guys what he looks like at, uh, at five star bronze. We're going to go on the road against the five star bronze for the first match to let you guys see um, you know, what he looks like against the other five star bronze. And if you're not really going to build this card for showdown, even though he has low charge moves because he needs a couple turns to get going. And usually by the, then in a showdown, Sako or Orton's killed you by then. Uh, what is it? The second match? Yep. So we're going to phase Drew, 5-star bronze. He's fully strapped. I'm not going to really worry about healing. Against the 5-star bronze in a feud, you're not going to have the, uh, the black move ready. It's a 3-charge. You're only going to have 1 MP from your turn, 1 MP from the perk. Because most people have plus 3, minus 2, so you get one, 1 net. So it won't be ready. So we're not going to use it right off the bat. We're going to hopefully not cascade. There's a red row break that's scary looking right there. All right. Well, we need to get the row break at least. So now we get our power gems out. You don't want to cover the purple, reds, or blues. Or you do, excuse me. You do want to cover reds, purples, blues, and loots because the AI isn't going to break your 
your power gem. So you want them on the other colors. You want the AI for you to break yellows, blacks, and greens. Now this move, you want to kind of just let it do its thing, hopefully break a yellow. Breaking a green is great too because it lets you get the power gems out. So what we're going to do now is use, this is where Ivar is helpful. Because now we're going to use this break enough black so our next turn we get to put the power gems out right away. Plus blacks is highest damage so it helps with the pin. But it's not going to matter against the powerhouse on turn one. They're going to kick out strikers as well. So he's going to put his bleed on. Luckily, it's not a very high percent proc, I believe. Now, because we got that move off, we get to put the power gems out again. And he doesn't have enough HP for us to really worry about placement right now. As long as we hit a yellow or a green and keep this turn going, we're going to be in good shape. Got that. After this, he's in danger. Hopefully, now I want a Cascade. <laughs> Usually you don't want one. No, I need one. There it is. All right, so he's dead. We're just going to take a swipe and call it a day with him. So that was an easy turn two win. He got uh, the bleed on. I don't know if it went off or not. But on the next match, we're going to go up against the five-star silver that's fully strapped and has 100 or 1.7 mil HP. So if we're going to want to do beat him turn two before he beats us up, we're going to need to get a little bit lucky with with the board. No cascades in the in the beginning and catch some yellows and some greens. So we're going to go to round six and dragon. We're going to face another legend. He's running triple blue and he's got a sub that can really mess you up. Luckily it's low charge moves, but it can it can do its thing where you end up like turn four. So let's see what this is like. You know, Dragon's got everything working for him. Pretty much everything he needs he has. So the black won't be full. We need to fill it. Hopefully we don't cascade. Very nice. Now we're going to get them out. And remember, blues, purples, reds. We don't want to break. We want to save that one so it won't break the, uh, the reds and cause a cascade there. I don't see any other cascades I got to worry about right now. Should be fine. And hopefully we, we pick up a green or a yellow. Blacks we're not really worried about yet. Uh, or that could happen. Well, it would have been nice to at least pick up a green. <laughs> Try to get that out again. So, power, power gems go out. We're going to want to cover all this. And we definitely need a green. See, there's a lot of greens right now without power gems on, so my chances are pretty good that I'm going to break a green and get the power gems out again. Hopefully catch a yellow as well. See? The problem now is going to be I, don't, I didn't get that yellow reloaded, so I'm getting my power gems out, but I can't do anything after that. And you can just see his HP dwindling. So hopefully we have a green match. I don't see one. Uh, yeah, I don't see a green match. Oop, I forgot one. Or a black, but a green is like really what I would like. So let's take, geesh, if I take that and try to pin him. No, and I don't want to break the yellows. Uh, I'm going to break my power gems. I got a two break anyway, that was stupid of me. 
Okay, so as long as he doesn't get pinned right here, this match is over. Ah! I ate that, didn't I? Oh, okay. Still put him in danger. So that one took us, what, third turn? Right at the end? We were close. I would say like 8 out of 10 times that match we win on, uh, on turn 2. Let's do it again and we'll emul emulate the tour. And I'll let you guys see what he's going to look like if you have a um, MP line bonus with this guy and you go into a match with all your moves full. He is much, we barely even took any damage on that one match. He's so much stronger when all his moves start turn one. So if you can find an MP bonus somewhere in a feud lineup, definitely a very good card to use. That's when he can hit turn one. So, there's a couple cascades we got to worry about right off the bat. We don't really want to break anything down here. Because those blues and those blacks can cascade. So your power gems get to go out right away. Now they get to go out again. Only with Ivar though. Without Ivar, that this move wouldn't be ready. This is one of those rare few times where he's super needed. Now we're looking for a yellow. One of them got covered by the Sid plate. That's okay. Or a green. And let's fill up our power gem. So now on the next turn, we even be able to get it out again. So that was, uh, that was turn one. We did about 800K. Now we're gonna get our power gems out again. Being careful what gems to cover, because we're gonna we're not gonna fill the power gems again, because there's so many out there. We're probably gonna take most of his health if we can get two clicks off this yellow move. So even though we could have filled the power gems, we don't really need to. We need a yellow, and we got it, and we didn't get a cascade, and now we get to use it again, and he's dead. Turn two, always turn two. <laughs> he's always gonna win turn two. But you see how much easier that was. Those power gems can get really, really strong. So, MP, line bonus in a, in a feud, and Ivar, I would, I would face him against some pretty good guys, except for the, the turn one or turn one guys. So, we're going to do one last match. It's going to be what he's going to look like in a showdown, in a tag match. And in this match, nothing's going to be full. Like, you're kind of on your own. You just need a little bit of luck uh, from the AI when you're breaking with that yellow move because it's the only move that's going to be full turn one. His links aren't the best for him. You're getting 25%. Let's uh, bring up the different rarities. I'm going to use Rock. He's good to tag with Rock as a second partner because he gives Rock 25% when you're breaking all those yellow, move, uh, yellow gems. But as far as him, he doesn't really need the gem, uh, gem damage. But we'll use Rock with his dad. Let, let's see if we can do our thing. I think every match except for one so far, we've won on turn two. And the one we won on the third turn was like we barely had to do anything to win. So nothing's full. You need a green or two blacks to get going. Not a lot of blacks on the board. There is a lot of greens. We got a green. So now we'll be able to break three blacks. Hopefully not cascade. That purple might cascade. Yeah. So we're going to put out the power gems. Now we want a green match above all others. That way we can get the power gems out again on the next turn. He's going to... All right, that's fine. So we have one on top. We're going to take it. And this is where the double armor would help. That's a small, small pin. But 
it will help more once I get everything maxed if I go that far with them. So we're going to kill them pretty quick on this. The biggest problem is going to be trying to get that pin bar to move all the way over. Now we need the cascades. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get them. So hopefully we cover enough of everything else. You know what? If it breaks those two purples, it'll cascade that red. We want that purple to break. And we want either of those two to break to cascade the green. Okay, this should be this should be good. You can kind of manipulate the board to to do what you want it to when you're putting these uh, power gems out. That's part of playing him. He's see how I didn't take those two and it got the green. And now he's in danger, and now I just have to finish it. So you manipulate the board. You put those power gems where you want them and, and where you don't want them, if, you, if that made any sense. I know a lot of times that don't make sense. The, uh, this was my first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have to give a huge shout-out and props to all the content creators for this game. You guys are amazing. This is so much harder than it looks. This is probably the 15th time I'm trying to make this video for the first time. So <laughs> you guys do your thing. And uh, if you have any questions, leave, uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. And you guys have a great day.